Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can convert your audio or any sound, any instrument, even vocals into MIDI notes inside FL Studio without using any software, okay? We're gonna try this on a vocal and on a simple melody right here, okay? So first of all, here I have a vocal right here. All the links will be in the description if you wanna check the artist out. This is how it sounds, okay? Listen to it once. I could take over, boy let me control ya I wanna know your deepest intentions I know Now this is how we're gonna convert this vocal into the MIDI notes, okay? First of all, click on this little icon right here and then go in here, click on edit sample and this is gonna load up our Edison audio in editor inside FL Studio It comes with FL Studio Producer Edition now go to your pattern selector in here and we need to create a new pattern name it as um, vocal any anything you want okay actually I'm gonna name it as vocal MIDI alright now we have our pattern selected let's put this right here and put it all the way in here okay now we're gonna have to load any instrument uh, any instrument plugin let it be keys or synth I'm gonna just go with uh, my favorite creepy piano like this preset and we are pretty much set now click on Edison again in here just right click on it click on tools and go to analysis and click on convert to score and dumb to piano roll and let it wait for some time and here in the background you can see it has converted the vocal into MIDI files okay now we can go to our piano roll right click on it and have a look and here we have it okay let's listen to it once okay Nobody else can do it like you You're a beautiful disaster You came crashing, fumbling An easy pass you didn't score Now you're on the floor without a shot, baby You lost your shot, baby So that's how you can convert it You know, it, this is not perfect But you have to work a little bit on it You can expect it to be perfect in any way, okay? So you need to work a little bit You arrange some of these notes Align them to the grid Or change the notes you know put them up or high anything you want okay now let's try it on and melody okay here we have it we're gonna do the same process we're gonna go to edit sample now let's create another pattern in here name it as anything you want hit enter Put the pattern right here. Go to Edison and right click on it, click on tools and go to this convert to scroll and dumb to piano roll. And wait for some time. This is gonna work it out and come up with the MIDI notes just like that, okay? Now you have it right here, the pattern. We're gonna go to our piano roll and here you have it now these are the extra notes which I don't want just w for the sake of this tutorial I'm just wanna see this okay now this is how the uh, melody sounds okay now this is how our melody sound with this pattern okay after converting it to MIDI now you know we made a mistake in here we didn't put any instrument on it but that's fine we can just click on insert click on any the plugin that you like and click on any the presets that you want you can basically do anything with it and go to audio click on here cut I'm gonna cut this and go to unsorted and click on paste and right here we have it now let's have a listen to it now
you may feel like this sounds weird but that's because it's unprocessed okay the melody you, you're hearing right here is totally processed it is totally stacked and layered up it is mixed and mastered right here we have the basic midi the keys and the scales they have used it gives you the blueprint of the notes In this way you can use your favorite melody to make your own track or make remix and songs you know you can also do this with this awesome plugin I have also shown it on my videos it's called neural node I'll put the link in the description you can go check that out too and also it should pop up right now in the top right and so you can check that out too all you have to do is just drag and drop your files here and that's pretty much it that this works pretty good too but yeah if you don't want to use any software any tools you can do this inside FL Studio as well okay anyway guys that's pretty much it if you find my content valuable please comment rate subscribe and share i would really appreciate that and i will see you in the next video guys peace i'm out